In this video, I wanna give you a quick look at my new favorite backtesting software. I've been using it for a few months now, love the principles, a lot better than the past one I was using. Maybe compare this one with the old one I was using before. And we'll dive right in. What is this new software I'm using now to backtest? Well, it's called FX Replay, and it's a pretty cool way to backtest. So it's based out of TradingView charts, but in a much better way than TradingView does the backtesting. And I'll show you exactly why we'll do backtests together, show you in details how that works out. So let's dive right in. Here you see I've got my backtest in the past, which I've done. Uh, I can see the results for those in the future if I want to. So I can go back and see, for example, this one here, the ticker session breakout, I can click on it. I can see the analytics directly. Now it's not a very long one. This one is just a couple of trades to kind of get an idea of how this works out. But you can see all the stats here in details. So we've got my best win, average win, average duration. Total winner, I only had two trades basically, which is very short, but still. And you can see some graphs here of your wins per day. So which days of the week are the best, which days are the worst. I've got a win here on Wednesday and a loss on Thursday. Okay, that's good. Total trades, when, what session they were in. You can see which session works the best, which sessions you're not good at. Mine's were all doing Asia, very simple. So that's kind of how it works out. Okay, let's go back and I'll show you in details how the backtest work. So I'll do create session here and I can choose my account balance to whatever amount I want. So we'll just do here $100,000 to kind of match maybe a live account. Okay. Then you have a choice of which pairs you want to backtest. So you've got a bunch of cryptos, which is cool to backtest if you want to backtest cryptos. You've got Forex. You've got, of course, some indices in between. Uh, indices are here. So German, Hong Kong, U okay, US, of course, NASDAQ, US 30, UK 100. All right. And you've got some, I lost, I lost it here. And you've got some agricultural, only soybean at the moment. So that's fine. Okay. Let's say I want to backtest on something I've never tried before. Um, let's do German 40. All right, cool. Now start date. You can choose whatever date you want to start with, which I believe have plenty of data on this, this software. So we'll just do, uh, let's say we do, okay, I want to go back a little bit more. You can click on this, go back more years if you want to. And it starts in, I don't know when it starts. Let's just say I want to do 2018, January first. All right, let's do that. We'll see if you have some, li some limitations here with the date or not, but so far it's doing good. And I want to end yesterday. Okay, strategy. If you have any strategies you want to keep track of, you can put them here. I won't put anything for now. Name, I'll just name this uh, test, back test. Okay, perfect description, no need. Then save. Now it's creating me a new back test here, which I can use to go back. So I'll just use the function here, uh, continue, which could be the same thing as the play here. Let's do play. Okay, now it's opening up a chart and here's where the beauty of this software kind of shines. So same charts as TradingView. Now, the only issue I've got here is you cannot have an indicator that are custom on TradingView. So all the indicators you have are the ones that are already on this platform. You cannot use your own indicators. I really hope they change this in the future. That'd be cool to use your own indicators on TradingView because I've got a few of mine quoted there that I use a lot. Uh, chart layout can be used to any kind of chart you want. So I'll just do here a one chart to keep it simple. You can have as much as seven charts here, which is insane or whatever kind of tweak you want to make to have multiple charts. So all of that's good. I'll just go with one chart. I want to keep it simple. Uh, by the way, if you do multiple charts, which it might be a good idea to do here, you can change multiple charts at the same time. I want to have this one here be a daily chart, so I'll keep it here daily. I want to have this one here on the right be, let's say, a four-hour chart. And I also want to have this one here at the bottom being a one-hour chart. Very simple. So we've got three time frames, and now we can choose which one here we want to move on this uh, little kind of bar that we can move around. This one will help us pick the duration, so like how fast we change the market, and which kind of time frame we want to change. So we can change the four-hour chart. It's the maximum right now that we can change the chart at. So we'll just keep it at four hours for now. That's totally fun. Okay, now what we'll do is we'll start a back test. And I wanna maybe, I believe I can hide this somewhere here. If I go to settings, some charts for the string views, you can always hide different things. Uh, I wanna hide the, here, stay the side, open the and close. We don't care about this. And bar change value, okay, all right, let's take off everything here. And settings, we'll do apply to all, boom, perfect, cool. So now we've got this taken care of here. I'm just gonna go there. We can always show our events in the chart. So any news we wanna see on the charts, we can show them here. Uh, let's say we only wanna have the high news, apply. Okay, we should see news in the chart from now on. All right, now we're good to go. So what we do to take trades is very simple. Uh, first of all, now we're back in 2018. So we got plenty of data here to play with. That's, that's good, that's actually pretty nice. We can have many years of back tests. Let's see how far we can go back on this. 
Looks like our earliest date here is in 2016, January 4th. That's, that's a good amount of time. I like this. So not as much as, of course, MT4, but probably uh, the same or more than trading view. So pretty good. All right, now we're here. I'm going to close a few things here. So I had a navigation bar to make it a little bit more kind of bigger in that case. I'll hide the trade here below so we can have more space to backtest. Now, the way this works is very simple. So we'll go here. Now we want to move our forward chart because that's the biggest one you can move here. The one our chart will move automatically. As you can see, if I go here and I press there, okay, it's one bar each time. So we have one bar forward chart, boom, 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 one bar each. Then a one hour chart moves in consequence. If I change it here to one hour chart to move, then a one hour chart will move one bar and a four hour chart will move slowly, okay? Our daily chart, of course, moves a lot slower in that case. So we can move bar by bar by bar and the shortcut for this is control space. So if you do here control space, you move the charts easily in that case. You can go really fast if you hold it or you can go slower if you go bar by bar to kind of move that way. So pretty cool. Now let's bring this back to forward chart to go faster. This here helps to sync the time frame with the chart. So we'll just to turn this on uh, so that'll be easier. And let's just keep moving forward here. Okay, let me find a good kind of pattern here that I can trade. Let me see if I can have a, looks like we hit a resistance area here. So I'm just gonna draw, let's say a line, uh, this line here, which will appear on all time frame, which is pretty cool. And let's see if we can find some better shades of this resistance area here. Okay, that would be a good, good trade to look for. And we'll look on the one hour chart and forward chart uh, for a bearish price action. This looks like a good one. Okay, nice. So now the way we do this is what do we want to enter a trade? Let's say I've got this ankle fin candle here I want to enter a trade on. All you got to do is pull up this tool here that we have on trading view, the short position. And we can just adjust it, put it wherever we want on the chart. Here we go, it's here. My stop loss will be, let's say this high. And let's say I just want to target a one to one move. So put this right here, uh, one to one. Okay, nice. So this is on the chart, okay? Now we've got this tool. Uh, if you don't find it here in the quick list, I put it in my quick list here, my short list, but it's always gonna be here on the left side. Okay, you can have these things. I can add favorite by clicking the star next to it, if you want to. So you've got them on your chart. Okay, now what we do is we simply go here and do place order. Place order will take this tool we've put on the chart and place the order with that tool. So here, it's very visual. There we go, so now we have our data here for the trade on the chart. We can use our initial balance or current balance for the percent per trade. Now let's say here is now 0.10%. I want to have a 1% risk per trade. My account is 100,000. It will be around $1,000 on a risk on, on that trade. I just pick 1%. Very simple, all, all this is calculated by default. Very quick, very simple. So oh yeah, you can have a dollar amount. So risk would be $1,000 or 1%, same. A position size would be this number of lots. Our price would be this. This is the price we got here on the chart for the entry. Take profit will be this, which you put on the chart also. And stop loss will be this one over here. Okay. Which will be also put on the chart. Cool. Now we take a sell. Of course, it's been fun easily with this tool that we've put on the chart. If you had the other tool, the long one, which is this one over here, uh, this one here, then it will be a long position. And type is stop because we are away from the price. Cool. I'll just do, I'll just do market. Okay. And boom. Trade this place, which is just another chart over here, and we can start to move forward. Now, it doesn't show the other charts, which I'm not sure why, but it should still show. Now, if you want to, by any chance, take a screenshot, very easy. Click on this, boom, save the chart, tweet it, whatever you prefer. I'm just going to copy it for later. If I want to copy it and paste it somewhere else, like on Trello or something, I'll link you a video here in the corner on how I do my Trello journal. So, if you want to have a look at that, that would be cool to do. It's very simple, and it works wonders. So you can track of your screenshots of your trades to look at later. Right, our trade is placed now. Now we can, of course, move these things as we want to. We'll just let the price go for now. I'm just gonna do control space to move candlesticks. Okay, like it looks like it's going in your favor, which is good. Okay. Now let's say I'm here and I decide I wanna move my stop loss to break even. I can simply take that stop loss, move it to break even or, or closer to that, and boom, it's moved, right? If I wanna change my take profit, I can change it. I can increase it like this, I can change it many, a little bit more far or closer if I want to, okay? It's all taken care of in that case, on that trade. I'll just leave it here for now, at the same place it was before, and we'll just keep moving. Control space, and we're close to it, very close. Okay, boom, triggered. Now this trade goes into our history here. Close positions, here it, here it is, okay? The size, the risk, realize $1,000, one on that trade, pretty good. 
Okay, I have product here. Okay, it's a bit messed up, but it's, it's all here. Actually, uh, Dutch index, pretty good. So all the stats are here. Okay, now that's good. Now let's say I want to take another trade. So I'll wait for another setup, and I'm just gonna go and maybe kind of mark some zones here. So we have a support in this level, where we could look for bullish trades, and we've got a. This is also like a pass resistance. That's pretty good. I'm gonna drag this over here. Try to make it straight. Let's go. Let's see if we can do something here. Uh, another trade. I'm gonna go back here and do control space. Okay, now we are near support. Let's see if we can find some bullish signs of support. We don't have it. Okay, we keep going down. Now we are in a sort of trend, downtrend style kind of thing. Uh, more sideways now. Just gonna speed this up a little bit. Okay, now I'm looking to take a very quick bounce trade here of that sort of high that we had before and this angle fan candle here. So I'm just gonna go and zoom in here and we'll do the same thing as we've done before with the short tool. So I'm just gonna move this a little bit. Take my short position here, short, and put this right here. Okay, my stop loss will be above this high, and my take profit will be a one to one to keep it very simple here. Here we go. Okay, again, place order. We've got this taken care of here. I'm gonna do a 1% risk per trade, 1%, $1,000, a little bit more than that. Uh, it's a sell trade, a market. Yeah, we'll do market for now, that's good. Okay, and we have this taken care of here. Now, this also shows up here in our open positions. Uh, just after this count stick will be moved. It's here. And we can see our trade going on here. Okay, we don't have any options here. We don't have anything we can do with that trade. Actually here, we can edit. Actually, we can close the trade to some percent. So I'm just gonna kind of move this up. Looks like we've been stopped out or close to it. And yeah, we've been stopped out in this one. Cool, we'll let the market go a little bit. And let's see what we can trade in that case. Okay, maybe a breakout here in that case of this range, which we see over here. Maybe we'll look at some kind of reversals. Mostly breakout here in that case. Okay, cool, that looks like a good breakout. Now, I always confirm my breakouts with the RSI because that's a good tool for me to look at the breakout strength. So I just wanna have a big chart of this one. I'm gonna go here and put this on one chart. Let's go here and make this one bigger. And I wanna look at the RSI. So I'll just go here into the indicator. Search for RSI, here we go. Okay, so we have a breakout, price is overbought, which is a good sign. So I'm just gonna go and look for a bullish trade here, just above this candle. So put this, my stop loss will be within the range, and our target will be a very simple one-to-one -one again. Oops, that's been gone here. One-to-one, -one. all right. Place the order. By the way, this shows you a couple of cool things here. You have the day of the week, based on where your cursor is. So if I go here, this is on a, on a Wednesday. So I can know what day of the week we are. This will be a Friday here, Sunday and so on. So we can kind of plan with this tool what day of the week we are at based on the cursor that we have. Economic calendar will be showing us the news at this specific time. I won't have the high impact news, show only future news in the chart. Uh, we'll, we want to see all. Then we can choose which country we want to have the news for. Uh, and that's kind of how it works out. Let's really choose a country here. We kind of choose all. I'm just going to go here and pick the United States. Okay, probably something like uh, Germany at the same time. Okay, I'm just gonna go here and I'm gonna search for Germany because we've checked the German index. I'm gonna search for United States. I'm gonna search for, what else? We can do Europe, I believe. Oh, Europe actually, pretty good, all right. Cool, these are news coming up, we have them here. We should have them on the chart also when they come up. Uh, but next one will be on May 16, Wednesday, which is today. High impact. Uh, so we'll see how this goes. I can close this up over here. Close this one. Okay, I want to place my trade anyway. And the events, I will see them here on the chart. So, cool. I'm going to go here once again and do place order. So 1% per trade. And this time we should have a buy. Yes, we have a stop because we want to go above the candlestick just to be safe. We'll do here. Done. And that's placed. Now, if we are moving forward, we should see the price picking up. So our trade will be on the other time frame, I believe here. Uh, it seems like the trades don't sing between two time frames, at least not here, but that's fine. So I'll just have a look at it here. Actually, I'm gonna move there, make this chart bigger here, and I'll just go in this one, put in the forward chart, which it was on the other ones. Okay, so breakout is working for now. So we'll just kind of continue here, and okay, price moves against us. All right, go back on the direction. Now I wanted to stay close, have the profit here for no reason except, except then I have fun. So I'm gonna go here in my, History, I believe maybe I can do it here. 
So let's go here into the history tab and click on this, edit. This one will be create a new order. I want to close, so percent to close. I'm going to close 50%. And here, I'm going to close. This will be just in lot. And I'm going to save. Okay. We'll continue. Now we have the size on our traded moment open. And we'll let this run to a take profit if we can. Ah, oh, we're so close to it. All right, cool, done. If we go to our positions here, we've got our trade. So we've got one loss, we've got two wins. Uh, so our risk reward was 1.2 because of the thing change in size. You can see we had here 728 and this one uh, 1000. Okay, that's good. So it seems like the one that we are closing early kind of closed, but didn't show outside of it. So, okay, that's good. But all the things are here now. Okay, so now let's say we finish our backtest. And actually it's pretty cool because this is save all the time. So you don't have to save it by yourself. It's always like done for you. Nothing to worry about here. So you can simply go here and tap on the show nav bar, tap back on the website, or go back on your account here. And things will be saved automatically in that chart. So we can simply go back here on the account with backtesting and dashboard. And our backtest here is saved. Okay, so we have no strategy, of course, on this one, but the results are here. Now, if I want to see our results for this one, I'll go here and I'll simply click on, I can almost continue to so take more trades if I want to. I'll just go here into analytics and then I'll see my results in this one. I can filter by days of the week. So if I want to see only Mondays, how I perform, I'll see, I'll see this one. If I want to see all days or only Wednesday, I'll see it here. Then I'll see my average what to risk, uh, max what to risk, ideal average what to risk. This is the maximum profit a trade gives you. And you have all these stats here, which is pretty cool to have a look at. So you can see this in detail, which sessions I'm better at. Uh, so here I trade like all sessions in this case. Total trades were in all. My win rate is 100% in London. In New York, it's 100%. And here out of session, we have another one, which is zero, 0, so we lost that trade. And here we can see our trades, so pretty cool stuff. Now, so as detailed as other backtesting platforms, but I really believe you've got all the stats you need here to get a good idea of how you perform and your results. And it's kind of good way to keep track of things. The fact that it's all online, you can do this on all platforms, all kind of computer, you can continue on, you can start one place, continue somewhere else is a really good thing. And I really love that they do this. In case you were asking, FX Replay is a subscription model, so you pay every month. You can only pay the months where you back this. You don't have to like pay for a whole year if you don't want to, you can just pay for a few months, which comes out cheaper than just buying a whole backtesting software like Fox Tester or something where you have to pay a big amount upfront. This one you pay when you backtest, so you pay in one month, you can cancel it, go back to it later if you want to. Uh, it's pretty cool for that. So any questions, let me know. I'll be happy to help out on this topic. If you've used FX Replay before, if you like it, or if you have any thoughts on this, let me know in the comment section below. I wanna hear what you think. And if you try it also, let me know what you think of it after you try it. I have a discount coupon if you wanna save some money on that software. I'll have it here on the screen if you want to check it out. I don't get paid anything if you sign up, but you do get a good discount on the software and hope you can make the best of it. With that being said, I'll catch you back here in the next video pretty soon. Ciao.